Mike Slay's aim in life is to conserve caves. But before he can save what's below the ground, he has to understand what's on the surface. I'm Jorge Ribas with Discovery News, and I'm here at Smith Creek in northwest Arkansas, and I'm with karst ecologist Mike Slay with the Nature Conservancy. Mm -hmm. Mike, tell me about what we're looking at right here. This is a classic example of a losing stream section. It's disappearing down into the ground, and it, this water is actually connecting into a cave system that's about six miles in length. Smith Creek Nature Preserve sits atop karst landscape. That means caves, losing streams, and sinkholes. The tract is owned by the Nature Conservancy as part of a worldwide effort to protect these habitats and the critters living in them, which are threatened by careless cavers, development, and pollution. And the major problem is, that, as you can see right here, there is no filtering that's going on. There's no way that if a pollutant were to come to this point, there'd be nothing here to stop it from going right into the cave and impacting some of those rare organisms that are living in the water or living in on, on the banks of the, of the stream that's underground. And here's where Smith Creek reappears, at Sherfield Cave, home to a colony of endangered Indiana bats. Belly crawling 100 feet through guano and past sleeping eastern pipistrels, Slay inspects a gate installed to deter most unwelcome guests. Unfortunately, some people don't want to respect the fact that some of these bats are rare and endangered and they want to go in there you know, at times when the bats are there and disturb the bats. So in some situations, we have to put these gates up to protect the cave, protect the habitats and the species that occur in there. Since few caves provide the ideal conditions necessary for the hibernation of the bats, protecting these few is critical. To better educate people about what's below their homes, Slay and his colleagues crafted this, the Karst Area Sensitivity Map. If you're a developer or a planner and you have a project within one of these recharge areas for a threatened and endangered aquatic species, then it'd be important to contact the Nature Conservancy to talk about how to minimize those impacts. Which is exactly what the town of Cave Springs did. This new development sits directly on top of a cave that's home to two endangered animals. There's a population of about 6,000 gray bats, and then in addition, it's got our largest population of cave fish. So it's a very important cave right here in northwest Arkansas, and it's unfortunately sitting under an area that's being, being rapidly developed. Developers worked with the Nature Conservancy to set aside land for green space, wildlife corridors, and sediment ponds. There's nothing here to stop water or pollution or other stuff to get into these systems. So it highlights that, that the groundwater that's there, the animals that live in those systems, it's very fragile. From northern Arkansas in the Sherfield Cave, for Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.